Okay, here's a quick video on how to turn on this PAX E800 device. Uh, I've got the power button on the right side here. We hold it down until it lights up. And then the screen should start to turn on. It takes a few seconds. You'll see this uh, splash screen saying PAX. And it'll kind of turn on and off a little bit as it boots up. I'll pause it here for a second. Okay, after it gets done booting, you'll come to this screen here, and we're going to launch the Yuma POS application, so we'll tap that. And then it brings us to our login screen, so we put in our code, um, which is going to be the last four digits of your cell phone number. Obviously, this code can be anything but that's what I've made it for eight five four so then we'll hit log in if we're logging in if we wanted to keep track of our hours we can actually do clock in if we do clock in then we still have to actually log in but it says here that we've been clocked in um, so let's key four eight five four and let's log in and now when it first starts it's going to tell us that our shift was ended yesterday and that we want to start a new shift so we say okay and then this is where you can actually enter in the dollar amounts as if you want to do that here we can open the drawer um, we can go look at performance from yesterday or days prior um, but in this case let's just go ahead and do a cash in for simplicity now, in order to get to our, this is where we would see our open orders, if there were any open orders. In order to get to our menu, we press the takeout button, and then that takes us to our menu screen, and we've got our categories, can go across the top, and this can be um, multiple rows, and then as we tap on each category, it brings us to the items that are within the category. Um, and there can be as many of these, and then this, these buttons can be smaller as well. So if we're going to ring in an item, we uh, select the item, and then down on the bottom we say check out. If we've decided that we want something else, we can hit back and we can go here. If we've decided we don't want this item, we can hit the little trash can. Oop. We can press that little trash can and that'll get rid of it. Uh, um, let's see. Okay, sorry, I was having trouble pressing that, so we remove it. And for credit cards, I'm gonna do a, a test for a penny here to show you. We say check out, we're ready to pay. Up top here, we're selecting card, and then we're putting in pay. Now what that does is it wakes up the screen on the back end for the customer to go ahead and enter their card here. And then this is also what the customer is seeing customer display. So we enter the card. I'm going to cancel for now because we don't need to show that. Um, oops, let's go back here. And so say the customer wanted to cancel, press that little arrow button right there. And then that cancels that order to the screen. And then we can say cancel. And so for this case, let's just say cash. And then we're going to put in an amount. These are little hot buttons right here. They come in very handy. If it's 40, we can hit that twice. You know, uh, 25. So let's just go ahead and hit a $5 bill. Say pay. It's going to print out our receipt. And then it closes and opens and ready for a new order. Ready for the new customer. Um, and at the end of the day, so you'll sell, sell, sell. And at the end of the day, uh, when you're ready to leave or if you're ready to cl just clock out we would say log out but when we're ready for the end of the day we're going to say end shift so we come here we say end shift we press on the uh, you have unclosed order tab we say cash you're out and then we say you can count all of your money here if you want but then we say cash you're out and then we end shift once that's done it's going to print us out a Z tape and it'll print out a little summary report as well and that can be turned on or off. It's not going to print.
print out very much because there wasn't very much there. But that's our Z tape. It gives our register and our start, shift start and end up at the top. And then all of a summary of our sales for the day. And that's pretty much it. Let me know if you have any questions. We'll talk soon. Thank you.